Let's check. <laughs> so, who are you? What do you do here? I'm Mark. I make the wine. I think maybe introduce yourself. What do you do here? Hi, I'm David van Skalpweg. I'm the viticulturist here at Waterford. Choosing when to harvest is a, is a very big topic. Uh, it's one of the most important um, decisions to make because in, in summertime things are moving very fast, it's warm. The vineyards are growing at its max capacity with its leaf foliage uh, all in adulthood. So a day makes a difference, but you, you also need to consider the eight months prior to picking day of, of what that vineyard's experienced. How, how was the winter? Uh, what are your winter uh, water levels looking like? What are the conditions during the early stages of, of the growth of the vineyard? Um, how were the bunches formed? Uh, was flowering um, allowed to push through without hindrance from rain or wind? So all these things play a factor uh, into when to harvest. Um, I think when it comes to closer to the day of picking, the condition of the vineyard is probably the most important. How healthy is the vineyard happy to, to continue ripening? Um, because after ripening your vineyard starts going into winter, which is hibernation. Um, so you are going to lose the activity from your leaves. We look at various things. Tasting is probably the most important because at the end of the day, I believe we, we taste wine to analyze it rather than just using analysis. Um, however, they do provide uh, great brackets for us to look at, whether it be sugar, acid levels, um, pHs and other sort of chemistry um, points to look at. Um, but I think definitely visual taste, looking at the thickness of the skin, uh, feeling the texture in your mouth when you're tasting those tannins, I think those are probably the, the most important aspects to consider rather than just some numbers. So. When it comes to harvesting the grapes, it's very important for Mark and myself to work as a team together. Um, it's really a team effort. Uh, we even take some of the seller interns out there. We get Jamie involved, we get Simon involved to decide when is the grapes ready to get picked. Um, like I've always, especially to teach them as well, and uh, it's, it's a way of um, getting everybody involved and carry over knowledge to, to the young people that works with us. Um, so it's very important for me that the, the stem of the uh, bunch gets, starts getting browning in it. Um, it is a good sign of, of vineyards that's becoming ripe. Um, when you pull off the berry, we call it the little tail that st stays behind on the um, stalk itself. It's turning red and the berry comes off quite easy. Then we usually would taste the berry, um, uh, chew a bit on the skins, the pips must be nice and crunchy, it must be turning brown, and the flesh usually must come, um, come off easily off the pip. Every cultivar differs, so there's, every cultivar does have a bit of a, a variance in it, and I think that's the importance of the longevity on a, on a farm, and uh, to really enjoy what you do, because you get to know your vineyards, and like I said, every season is different, so you need to adapt and uh, get to know how does your different your your vineyard react to different seasons?